we have so much to thank God. We want to thank God for the election, the just concluded election. Aren't you glad that you are alive after the election? Can we celebrate God for that? And I have a few things to tell us. God indeed was involved in the election. And that same God is still involved up to now. Prophecy is powerful. God speaks ahead of time. That affects December 2014. He spoke to me. He engaged me in a discussion. And said that a Messiah for Nigeria will come. 2023. Then I somehow felt somehow I said, it is long. Why not now? He said, no, not now. And I had him clearly. If you follow my prophecies, you know that it will always come. It will always happen. And that's the most of all I will tell you. When it is not nice, we pray against it. Because I have taught us also how prophecy works. But if I've ever spoken anything from the Lord, wash it if you have. So, that election that year came and was conducted. And the Lord started speaking. He said, the person that will come, and you know I gave prophecy before this election. Go back to the YouTube, check it, Apostles of Chennai, you will look at it, go through those prophecies. Go also to the one of the cross overnight. I spoke concerning the election. And you can see they're all happening. Now, he said to me that the person that will enter this 2023, forget about what was happening. Forget it. It will be overturned. This time, the prophecy is coming powerfully. Listen, it's no longer Nigeria as it used to be. Forget it. The hand of God is involved in Nigeria now. He said, the age will be early 60s. And that's what we're seeing now. Guys, check my prophecies. I said it. And he said, after that, you will not see anyone at the age of 78 to rule Nigeria again. Listen, it is our desire to grow old. But the time of old age is the time to rest. Not the time to carry the responsibility of Nigeria. Old age is what everybody prays for. But that age is not the time to carry the responsibility of Nigeria. It's only in Africa you are seeing all those things. And I had them clearly. Note this prophecy also coming. Note it. That's prophecy. Yesterday. You remember I told you that after the election, somewhere cry, where is God? And he said, don't cry, where is God? He said, watch the episode to the end. <laughs> and we are still watching the episode. <laughs> the episode is still unfolding. He told me yesterday and I had him clearly. He said, it will no longer be in Nigeria the way it used to be. The time of the youth has come. Amen. Watch it, watch it. The youth, he told me, and I had him clearly, will determine who enters the seat of power in Nigeria. And the moment you enter, and you not perform, they will throw you out the next election. Remember, I told you, revolution is coming. You can't stop it. Listen, it's not about... He told me something I had that I was... I, I said, wow. He said, Nigerians will no longer vote based on religion. They will never vote again based on ethnicity. They will never vote again based on tribalism. The days of all this are over. Amen. I heard him clearly say, these were the lies and what some old politicians had capitalized on to lie to their people. After they have finished Nigeria, looted the treasury, when the time of election comes, they will go to them to tell them, remember, we are your people. Those ones are not your people. But you know, this past election, it didn't work again. It's not, forget that, you are not, what you're seeing is not the real result. It's a cook manipulated result. If the real result were to be released, 
you will be seeing 13 million over 100,000. <laughs> We see. We are there. We want to vote. So well. But thank God. God said, Nigeria, your time has come. Yes. People have labored. People have cried in this country. And God said, I'll come to answer your prayers. And he said to me, the major political parties you are hearing their names now will be relegated on the background. Amen. He said, I have come to bring them very low. Mark what I'm telling you. Prophecy is always in fusion. APC, PDP will no longer hear their names. The major party that will take over in this country now is LP. That's the Labour Party. And he told me there is another party that will spring forth that is not among the parties you are hearing now. Notice that's how Prophecy works. I'm speaking ahead now. Then that party we go party person with LP, uh, LP. So that if LP people make a mistake, that party will take over. But the major party you're hearing now, you're going to go down. Now, when God started speaking, some people did not notice anything. It's not about tribes. Remember, many people that voted this time, they don't vote because you're coming from here or not coming from there. It's prophecy. Why? The soul of Nigeria must be redeemed. Amen. Nigeria is so blessed. But the citizens seem not to be enjoying the blessing. Why do they want to kill the entire city of power? It's because of the things they will loot and steal from that place. The time is coming, they told me. If they beg you to enter into Senate, you will say you will not go. You would rather go for your business than to go to those places. Why? The looting will stop and the time has come. Amen. There will be nothing to steal again. And that policies will change. Amen. Policies will change. Amen. Some of those lies are gone. Where somebody will be in the seat of power, will not do anything, will not give the dividend of democracy. And just few weeks to the time of election, he believes that we are mumu, our mumu don't do. Amen. I will come and tip you with how much? 5,000, 2,000. And you will mortgage your conscience and go and vote against yourself. No. God said that era is over. Amen. Remember, you enter Kubiko one by one. You don't enter it together. It's only one person at a time. So now you will take the money, you will eat it, you vote the right person. Because it's your money. No, that's true. No, people like, let it continue the way it used to be. It will no longer continue the way it used to be. It's only the wicked that support evil that's a little remain so. That's what the Bible says in Proverbs 28, verse 4. But those that love the just and righteousness will resist and contend with the evil. They will say, No, we're not continue that way. And people don't like those people. No more Luther continue. The time for the change has come. And the destiny of Nigeria is here now. Amen. Oh, that is the word. So he's still at work. Let nobody start to fail him or her. He is in charge. One of the things he said that frightened me, in case you have somebody there in an egg, better go and tell the person, no. anyone who stole, who took bribe in this election, even if ad hoc workers, Calamity is visiting them. Listen, I am not praying. I'm telling you what the Lord said. You will hear what will happen to them. He said, except they repent, confess it openly, that's the restitution they need. They will not be free. God tells you, Nigeria, the time has come, it has changed. It's a different thing now. So perhaps. You are hearing this prophecy and you have brothers and sisters who did that hard work, hard work, all this stuff, and they did whatever they did. Better beg them to go and return the money. Because if not, something is coming. Disaster is coming. You will hear what happened to them. From Aine, call them, and they will hear this. Disaster is visiting them and their homes. Amen. God said it. Amen. And when God says something, you know what he has said. He's not joking. He's not playing jokes here. 
Some angry that uh, now Okada Radas are entering the seat of power. It's good. Because before they believe it's we, no other person will cross us. Now banana sellers are going there. Sugar cane sellers are going there. Egusi sellers are going there. Magi seller is going there. And that is how God works. We are not saying this in particular of any party, but we are looking at the soul of Nigeria. I don't know why people play sentiment with these things. Must it be the way it used to be? Or can't there be a change? The Lord is seriously asked for a change now. Watch out for days ahead. There will be surprises that will be coming. I told them a prophecy, God told them a prophecy, they will make it themselves openly. You will see an egg fighting an egg. You see themselves coming to expose what they did. Watch out. The real result is about to come. <laughs> <laughs> they were getting the result openly. Say, come, we did evil. See the real result here. Yeah. Oh. So, the time for corrupt politicians are over in Nigeria. Yeah. They will go and look for job, another thing to do. Yeah. They don't, they're not born in Nigeria and born you, not belong to your father's house. My goodness, somebody should wake up. Why are they handling Nigeria as if it's their father's business empire? Some believe that they are the only one that will get there. Ah, you will see more surprises. Yeah. When the right vote comes, you find that some people going to see it now will no longer go. Watch out. They didn't win. Watch out. I hate, I'm, I'm seeking from God now. Days ahead, you see what will happen. Concern them. Nigeria is saying, concern us now. We want to know the outcome. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And so you relax and keep watching the episode. The film is still on. You don't conclude the film at the beginning. When you conclude the film, you must watch it to the end. Will you be able to interpret the film if you do not watch it to the end? No. You must watch it to the end. It's not, these are not prophecies from the head or you sit down and cook. And check out the prophecies I've given over years. Go and check it. That's why it's there. Go there, go back to the messages. Go there, go through them. And you see they have always come to pass. What I told you concerning this, has it not happened? I told you, and I told you that this election, I was there, and I saw, and I told you, it is already read. And we told you some other things there. And not only me, many other servants of God that hear from God have spoken. It was not intention to make it open, but God said you should make it open. Because the sense of a prophecy is that any part of it you don't like, you begin to pray for God to do something. We don't want bloodshed in Nigeria. People will claim their mandate without killing anybody. Though the desire we have is that in Nigeria of